Good evening. Something a little different and maybe even poignant this evening. This here is a book, Gate of Repentance. It's the service book of the Reformed Jewish tradition, which was given to me as a gift in the year of 1990 by Betty, in memory of Betty Broodney. And Shalom, she says, and also of her husband, Mark. And they attended a, a community centre and a support unit at a church in Wembley. I'm going to read some of the readings from Yom Kippur, their service, Orders of Service, which, as you would probably know, is reference to the Day of Atonement. These are beautiful readings from the Jewish tradition. For thus says the Lord God, I, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when his sheep go astray, so will I seek out my sheep and I will rescue them from all the places to which they were scattered in times of cloud and darkness. I will seek those who are lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the wounded, and I will strengthen the weak. The Day of Atonement is a day of great joy for the creator of the world. For he gave it to Israel out of his great love for them. Moreover, at the time when he pardons Israel's iniquities, he does not grieve in his heart, but he rejoices greatly, saying to the mountains and hills, the springs and the valleys, Come and rejoice with me greatly, for I am forgiving the iniquities of Israel. We perceive God's will in the history of mankind in the lives of men and women who have been just and upright, gentle and forgiving, in every struggle for a righteous social order, and especially in his revelations to the house of Israel, whose mission it has been to bear witness to his unity and love. O oh God of truth, help us to uphold always the truths of our heritage and grant us an ever clearer understanding of your will. May our recognition of your abiding love, O oh God, impel us to use all our powers in the loving service of our fellow men. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up and you shall bind them as a sign upon your hand, and they shall be like frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates.
Grant, O Lord our God, that we may lie down in peace and that we may rise up, O our King, unto life. Spread over us the tabernacle of your peace. Guide us with wise counsel. Save us for the sake of your name. Be a shield about us. Turn all oppression and affliction away from us and keep us from evil and wrongdoing. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings, for you are our guardian and deliverer, a gracious, merciful God and King. Guard our going out and our coming in unto life and peace from this time forth for evermore. We praise you, O Lord, whose tabernacle of peace shelters us and all mankind. And a note of praise and thanksgiving. You, O King, are our helper, saviour and shield. Yours, O Lord, is the unceasing creative power that generates life and works for redemption. In your mercy you sustain all living creatures. Teach us also to care for our fellow men and women, to uphold the falling and heal the sick, to free the enslaved and honour our memory of those who have died. You are supreme in might, you are supreme in might. You have ordained the cycle of birth and death, but you are also our Father, ever compassionate. The life we have is a token of your love and the hope that we shall not perish comes from our knowledge of your eternity. To you, Lord, we give all praise. Lord of all life, we thank you for the numberless tokens of your goodness with which our life is crowded. For life itself and its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, for our powers of spiritual growth, and for the excellence of your teaching, which deepens our life and enriches our days. And this poignant ending in a prayer for peace. Inspire your people, O Israel, and all mankind to labour for a perfect and enduring peace. O Sovereign Lord of all, of all peace, for it is good in your sight that your children be blessed at all times with your peace. Teach us then to find our happiness in the search for righteousness and peace. We praise you, O Lord, author of peace. A closing meditation not unfamiliar to us in our Christian tradition. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a willing spirit within me. You who know the thoughts of men and understand the minds of mortals, 
know my longing to do your will. Purify my thoughts and free me from unworthy aims. May none of my troubles make me a stranger to you and keep me from serving you. Lighten the weight of mundane burdens which hinder me from bearing yours with commands which you give me life. So with all my heart, I, I turn to you in perfect repentance. We give thanks to God for the heritage that we share with the Jewish people and their pains which we too bear and pray for peace for all humankind in these days of heart achingly trouble. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with it all, this night and always. Amen.